when when women see your weaknesses in that way and they see you sweat and they see that they can break you it's going to turn them off completely because you're not who they thought they was anymore right especially if you do this consistent now sometimes if you have a moment okay get back on your horse and you got to be strong you got to be cold you got to be ice cold for the next month right you get caught slipping like that so that's the thing you guys get caught slipping and you don't know how to pick yourself back up when you if you ever get into a moment where you weak like that or you get caught slipping like that you got to be cold for a couple months like your game have to be extremely strong you got to be extremely cold to bounce back from that but a lot of guys don't they just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going right and, and the more a woman sees that in you you know she knows that okay this dude is not who i thought he was i basically got catfish i basically got bait and switch he appeared to be strong but now i know that he's not i got played so now they start feeling bad about themselves like damn i need to learn how to pick better dudes and what the fuck is wrong with me and shit and so now they start looking at you with resentment and shit because you fooled them and they let you fool them and it's just a whole bunch of shit so when they see this type of shit when they see you get weak they see you get jealous they see you get you know uh uh, uh desperate they see you get needy they see you start begging the guy who you initially were um they see something different now so it's like damn i'm dating a person that I, I didn't sign up for this right that that weakness is gonna turn when they see you sweat that's gonna turn them off from you especially if they consistently see it so always understand that now they will another reason you want to don't want to let woman to see you sweat is because they will use that weakness against you they will women will use your weaknesses against you trust me that's the way that they gonna defeat you they can't beat you here women can't beat when you get into conflicts because we have conflicts with women too not only do we have conflicts in the streets and we have conflicts with our women right we bump heads with our women and when you bump head when, when, when there's a fight or there's conflict or you know a person has an agenda or they want to win an argument or they want to be the, the, the top dog or they want the situation to go in their favor they do what they got to do to win right and being as though a woman can't beat you physically she's going to beat you here and she's going to beat you here this is her game she's going to beat you with the manipulation game that's what they bless with right and the more a woman knows your weaknesses the more a woman knows your flaws the more she's going to use them against you to ultimately get what she want or to ultimately have to out the the, the the upper hand in the situation or to ultimately get her point across she's going to use it against you in some way they'll find a way she name she may not say it she may not say let's say if you insecure about your little dick or something right because you got a little dick she may not say hey you got a little dick and you know covertly like that but a woman will figure out a way to use your insecurities or your weaknesses or whenever you show them that you know they can push your buttons they'll use that to 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 get what they want whether it be the end winner argument to be to 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 get what they want or you know so the outcome could go in their favor favor or for whatever that's their way to beat you when a person knows what makes you tick when a person knows what makes you cry when a person knows you know what makes you uh feel insecure when a person knows what makes you you weak when a person knows what makes you needy or empty when they know this if they can't beat you physically they'll use this against you to beat you every time i don't care how good she is i don't care where she come from if you have a conflict with a person when you have conflict when two people clash and there's conflict right normally somebody wants to outdo the other person or somebody wants to out compete the other person and if it's a type if it's an argument somebody wants to be fucking right or somebody wants to prove somebody wrong right so what happens is it, usually what men do usually what men do when we have conflicts with each other you know it may start here but as testosterone levels rise and we start to use our gifts to assert ourselves and to get what we want it usually tends to come to a fight right a fist fight usually normally so if if you know if you are a guy and you have a girl and you guys have conflict you can't fight her right because you're gonna go to jail and it's not right 
So you, where it's, you can use your strength, right, with another man, and he uses his strength, and to make the best man win, when you're with a woman and you have conflict, so now you're using your aggression and your logic and, you know, or even let's say you you, you have you, you get into it with a guy and it's a debate. It's not a fight. You guys start to use logic. If you're debating over the basketball game, right, and you want to prove somebody wrong, you start to use logic and shit, right? Y'all debating each other and there's logic and shit, you know, a little mixed with a little bit of aggression, right? So let's, it may not even come to a physical fight. So you use your other strengths as a man to get what you want. But what happens is when you try to take that and use that with women, they use what they good at. They use their strengths, right? And they can't beat you in your game. They can't beat you with physical strength. They can't beat you with logic. So they're going to use your weaknesses against you. They're going to manipulate you. This is what women do, right? And manipulation isn't a bad thing. Manipulation is not a bad thing. It has a negative connotation, but it's not a bad thing. That's what they're going to do because they can't, they can't outstrength you. All right, so you have to understand that when, when women see you sweat, they know your buttons now and they're going to use that against you every time. 